So did you hear the one about the Ford and the Dodge that went into the shop to ask for some work to get done? Me neither. Hey, which one should we start with? He's gone. Let's just go check out the Dodge. So this is the 64 Dodge. Tyler is back there doing a little welding. Um, I wonder if we can bother him for a second. Tyler? Yo! There you are. So what are we doing on the 64 Dodge right now? What are you welding? Oh man, what are we not welding? It's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's a little bit of everything. Um, so far, we're doing uh, rocker panels. Uh, we've got a new uh, step piece going in. Uh, lots of little patch panels here and there that we kind of had to make by hand. Um, but yeah, she's uh, coming along pretty well. I've got the driver's side buttoned up. So uh, some things you can see and some things you can't. Um, somehow he got some welds in places I didn't know a welder could fit. Yeah. But um, up under here, it was pretty much all gone, and I don't know if you can hear it with the mic. Uh, all new metal up under there. You know, this is the part of the car, or the truck in this case, where stuff slinging up. This was an old logger truck. Um, so lots of mud, lots of muck, lots of just moisture. Um, and really considering that, being a logger truck and lots of moisture, it's really pretty darn clean overall. Yeah. Um, yeah the big story with this one is customer has had this for years. Um, he went to start rebuilding it and, you know, just the normal story, which, you know, you can't blame people. Life gets busy, have kids, stuff like that. He couldn't quite finish it. So it's, you know, it's like half finished. It's one of those half projects we like to bring in. We fill gaps while we're working on the big things like the Camaro or the EVs um, or the Porsche that's coming up. But, um, you know, he's going for st structural integrity um, because there is rust in bad, unsafe places um, and places where like the fender won't even attach anymore underneath. So, you know, big old floppy fender over here. Um, but we're going resto mod. I mean, not resto mod. We're going uh, uh, patina look. We're going to keep this patina kind of going and not do like perfect fit and finish. Um, it's going to kind of have, you know, that, that old logger truck look, but run and drive you know, down the road just fine, but just look old. So it'd be really cool. Um, and it is kind of rust mod. I wasn't totally wrong. It's got a 318 in here that's been rebuilt. And it's probably gonna have some kind of fuel injection on it. Um, but uh, yeah, kind of cool old truck, 64 Dodge. And we're gonna kind of see what else we can do to it. Cause it's just kind of putting it back together, getting it done for him. We can call it a rusto mod. Rusto mod, there we go. All right, so that's enough on the Dodge. Short but sweet, because we gotta go see this other project so I don't make this like a 20 minute video. So let's go check out what Jason's doing on the other side of the shop. Hey, uh, Jason, you wanna talk about this Ford? Oh, yeah. Let's talk about the Ford. All right, so here's the Ford. It's a 62 Ford Fairlane 500. Did I get that right? Yep, okay. AKA Peanut Butter Falcon. Peanut butter falcon. I don't know where that came from. But we're I don't know. Leave it at that. Um, but uh, this project, as you can tell, it's got paint on it. It's a little dirty, a little dusty. Um, came from another shop. Um, the problem is that shop was doing really good work, 
Um, they're, they're a really great shop, actually. The customer, though, is here a little lo more local to us, and it just made a little more sense with this customer's busy schedule. Um, and I know him, and there's like a middleman that we kind of work through to get all this stuff done. It just made a lot more sense to kind of get it done here, plus the other shop was just really busy. Um, as well, we you know we kind of like to fit these little half projects in here and there. They may take a little longer for the amount of hours we're putting into them, but it's kind of nice to fill gaps. You know, like, like I said, with the Camaro kind of waiting on some parts right now, this is kind of helped keep us busy. So all that to be said, this is a half build because it's the paint's nice. I mean, it's done. Got yeah. All the exterior trims on it, right? I mean, most of the suspension work's done. I do believe transmission motors in it. We just got to do yeah. interior. Some wiring. That's all it is, just interior and wiring. It yeah, looks, that's, that's it all. honestly does look like it's pretty far along, but that's, when you and I look at it, we know, yeah. oh boy, there's still a lot of time left on this car. Um, you know, the interior is literally gutted. There's nothing in that interior. Um, and the wiring's not done too. And we haven't ran any wiring before, like we normally do when we build a car, we kind of know where we're putting wiring looms and wiring, you know, the, um, Kind of like I'm trying to think of the firewall, grommets, wall, grommets stuff yeah. like that. Um, you know where we're going to put all that. We didn't get a chance to do that before paint, so we're kind of just going off what we're given. And so far, it's not too bad. Um, you know, this hood um, it does close and lock. I promise. I just keep playing with it. Um, <laughs> you know, it's it's you know probably four or five hundred hours in this one. We'll probably have when it's all said and done. But this is going to be a high end. Cruiser, kind of rest of mod. It's not getting like a Coyote or anything crazy like that. It's got a blueprint motor in it, actually. That's really nice. Um, looks like a pretty nice transmission, overdrive transmission, yep. which they didn't have overdrive in 62, you know, just in fair lanes like this. Late 80s, early 90s transmission in there. So, you know, it's going to be brought into probably, let's say, 90s era. It's got fuel injection yeah. on it. So, you know, be reliable um, and fun to drive, but also, you know, really good show car that you can take to the car shows and show off because you don't see many of these. I mean, how many 62 Ford Fairlane 500s sedans do you see? You always see the coupes and you always see the roadsters and convertibles and Camaros, Corvettes, Mustangs. I mean, you just don't see these. And that's why I appreciate it so much because yeah. I like seeing cars like this that you just don't see as often. Um, and it is a beautiful car. It's got cool lines. 62 is kind of the, the year that those early 60s, you're kind of getting away from the big boats, yeah. you know? But you still kind of got these these lines here. The, the 50s fins. The 50s <laughs> fins, but it's starting to get a little more compact um, and a little more long, streamlined um, that the 60s kind of brought in, you know, that muscle car era. Things got a little, they started realizing, you know, aerodynamics is kind of important. So, I don't know. How's it going so far? Uh, Not too bad. I mean, it's... A little different from the Camaro, but uh, the harness isn't as nice as the painless that the Camaro had. It's no connectors or anything like that, so I gotta go to put all new connectors on it. Yeah. Um, and I don't know anything about a 62 Fairlane, so I'm kind of just having to figure out what goes the, where. We have this big old manual. Yeah. It's like this big. We'll figure it out. It's the Fairlane Bible. But we're gonna stop it there because we'll have probably another video on this specifically as we get more done on it. I'm kind of showing what we're doing with it. Um, and then, you know, a reveal video one day, so. Let's get back to it, I guess. I gotta go work on my EV. He's got the fair lane and Tyler's got the Dodge. So we're busy here. We gotta go. Thanks for watching and keep checking up to see how these how these are coming along. Talk to you later. Like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Boom, nailed it.